All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, I'm going to give a praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Kakadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders that are in this truth room, the men of the UMS, and the brethren with the like minded doctrine. It's the brother Bakala while I'm here with another helpful, edifying lesson to the elect body of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Um, this is a video from the Brother here, page, he says, endure the last days to buy, you know. Um, what's the title says, Calantro detox heavy metals from the, from the temple. And you'll hear testimony of what this, as Edomites, you know, says. And I've just got this video because, you know, it's going to tie to a lesson. Basically, he's going to say us that he's going to say something that we that know the, um, who the, we know the truth. We that, we that, it's like, we that are in the truth know of these things and who this applies. So, um. Basically, this guy says devil, right? So I'm going to just go ahead and let this. We know who the devil is, right? But I'm going to let this guy here say what he says, and, you know, and then I'm going to just come back, right? So, you know, it's going to tie in. And I'm just going to play this video. Yes. Reveal the plan of what's going to happen next. So I can't say it. But I'm telling you, I know what's going to happen next. How much metal you have in your body will affect you when this, this thing happens. It has to do with frequency. Okay, so, so that I stay safe and I can come back and I stay alive, I want to tell you something. I will give you a hint of what, what's, what, what he showed me. It's going to happen. And you have to get rid of these metals in your body. And it could happen tomorrow, it could happen, but they're going to say it's something else. You're going to have to do your own thinking about this. I don't want to get in trouble, but just stick a piece of foil in a microwave and um, picture that in your body. And now you know the devil's plan. Bottom line is you got to get this out of your body. Let's mess the devil up. Let's really mess him up. So you heard what he said. He said, now you know the devil's plan. Which the devil planned is what? Them putting these heavy heavy metals in your body. And basically it's damaging to your body. And how are these heavy metals getting in your body? You know, which I'm going to go into that, right? But first... Um, I'm going to go into that. And another thing that I'm going to go into is like, he said the devil. So who is the devil? Is it, who is the devil that's doing this? Is it, um, um, red, a, a man with, with, with red spandex, spandex with a pitchfork, right? Doing this. Horns coming out of his head with a pitchfork, which they, you know, that's the, image that Christianity got of the devil in, a, in some type of spiritual underworld of fire, you know. Is that the devil he's talking about? Which we're going to get into the answer of that, right? So he said the devil. So now we know the devil's plan. So I'm going to just play it again, right? And now you know the devil's plan. Bottom line is you got to get this out of your body. Let's mess the devil up. Let's really mess him up. So this Edomite here says, now you know the devil's plan. The devil is putting heavy metals in your body. So how is this devil doing that? How is he putting these heavy metals in your body? One way is by chemtrails, right? Um, that's how these heavy metals are getting into your, getting into your body. So I'm going to go ahead and play this other video that shows that, right? So, um, here it is, bear with me, video here, right, it's a lot here, it says, pilot 
turns chemtrails on and off, sends a signal to the world 100% truth. So this is from the channel uh, Official Narrative Question. So I want to play this video. And this is the devil that's putting these chemicals that's in your body, the plan of the devil, right? This totally shuts down any of the government shows they want to tell you it's it's just because of difference of air temperatures and all this crap. And, and you don't shut off jet engines in California, for example. So this is 100% slam dunk evidence that we are being sprayed. I want you guys to send this thing viral. Send it everywhere, guys. And now I'm going to play the original clip of the band. It's got the Patriots and Official sources tell us we are only seeing condensation trails in our skies. They tell us jet trails can last for hours and expand to cover the entire horizon or not exist at all, depending on atmospheric conditions. They tell us what is clearly a jet spray dispersion being turned on and off is only our imagination. Are we to blindly believe the glaring, blatant, and completely absurd official lies, or are we to believe what we can see with our own eyes? Climate engineering aerosol spray dispersions are absolutely and inarguably occurring in skies all over the globe, as this shocking video so clearly illustrates. Illegal, highly toxic, and unimaginably destructive geoengineering solar radiation management programs have long since been fully deployed. We must all make our voices heard in the critical battle to wake the masses to this dire issue. Time is not on our side. This is Dane Wigington with Watch. So what that video there shows you, chemtrails being sh um, sprayed in the air, you know, and that like the guy said, you can't just shut off both of the jet engine planes, you know, shut the jet engine planes on and off, you know. So what they were showing you, 100% truth that we have been sprayed by chemicals and those chemicals have heavy metals in it. So, you know, further, furthermore, I have uh, another video to show, basically, on this on this issue of um, the devil, which the guy showed, said in the first video, his plan, you know, which is putting heavy metals in you. And he was gave a, um, a scenario of um, putting a tin foil in a microwave. Basically, you get cooked to death, you know, and if you, uh, it's damaging you know, these metals are damaging to your body, you know, frequencies, they can send frequencies to your body and um, to cause these heavy metals to, you know, to act basically like a tin foil in a microwave, you know, so I'm, I got another video I want to add to this. Okay, this video here, this, okay, this video here, right, it says, um, pilots, Doctors and scientists tell the truth about chemtrails, right? Which this is on um, the devil, right? That the guy said in the first video, you know, which is basically the so-called white man, Esau Edom. That's who that devil is, man. It's not a, it's not a um anybody with a pitchfork, spandex, red spandex suit, in the underworld with a pitchfork, with horns coming out of his head, and uh, um spiritual underworld of fire, you know, it's the so-called white man, Esau Edom, you know, so, um, I'm going to play this video, too. Aircraft making a condensation trail is very similar in many ways to when you go outside on a cold day and exhale, you create a condensation trail, that little cloud is a condensation trail. 
Now, if you take a two mile walk on a cold day and you can turn around and you can see your condensation trail tracking all the way back for two miles, that's how crazy it is to think that what we're looking in the sky is actually condensation trails. The contrails, not the chemical, the contrails occur because of cold air, minus 30. It takes a high altitude, around 30,000 feet plus. There's a carbon dioxide and water vapor in that exhaust. That turns to ice crystals, and that's what you see, the white stream behind it. Those white crystals of ice warm up, dissolve, and the smoke goes away. And it never lasts more than a minute. What we're seeing now, and I first could not believe it, and I started looking at the skies, and these are not normal. They're not natural. There's something going on. I don't know who it is or why they're doing it. All I can testify is it's not natural and it's not normal. It's got to be some outside influence doing that. Thank you. I'm here to give you testimony that chemtrails, they're not contrails, are indeed real. They're spraying almost every day. I watch the clouds and watch the spraying program going on. I want to tell you that we're in very great danger from the pollution that's coming down over us. And we've been led astray by the military industrial complex and they're responsible for the cloud creation and weather manipulation programs. They're dark operations. That's why they're not out in the media. I look around. And so what he said there is dark operations. You know, the military or industrial complex, which is ran by who? The devil, Esau Edom. You know, we're being deceived. That's what he was saying, right? are indeed real. They're spraying almost every day. I watch the clouds and watch the... I'm here to give you testimony that chemtrails, they're not contrails, are indeed real. They're spraying almost every day. I watch the clouds and watch the spraying program going on. I want to tell you that we're in very great danger from the pollution that's coming down over us. And we've been led astray by the military industrial complex and they're responsible for the cloud's creation and weather manipulation programs. They're dark operations. That's why they're not out in the media. I look around. So it says they're dark operations, which is not shown in the media. This is that devil. You know, their military industrial complex is ran by the so-called white man, which is Esau Edom. Which I'm going to go ahead and bring the scripture out, you know. Then I got another video I'm going to play with that also, you know, that these things are really known. But these videos are being shadow banned by the devil, the so-called white man, as um, disinformation, informa disinformation, misinformation, like everything else that goes contrary to his agenda. You know, for instance, like Agenda 2030, right? This is the book of Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in, his, in, and in the power of his might, put on the whole arm of the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So that's what it is. These are wiles being put on the people. And also said the, against the, who, the wiles of who? The devil. So first we're going to get into this word wiles, right? The Greek word, right? Strong's G, 3180, Methodia. Methodia. Outline, biblical, outline of biblical uses. It says cunning arts, deceit, craft, trickery. So wiles are trickery. So like he says, we're being basically fooled by the military industrial complex. And these chemicals are, are serious and, and extremely dangerous to the people. Like the guy said, the devil in the first video says the devil. Um. Um. Hold up. Hi. How you said it was the um. So like here. He um. He said we must stand up against the devil, right? Stand up against what? His wiles, right? His trickery. You know. So the devil is doing this, right? Ephesians 6 and 11, it says, Put on the whole armor of the Most High, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, 
that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So the trickery of who? The devil. Which is what? We go into the word devil. Strong's G twelve twenty eight. Diabolos. Diablos. 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 Um Greek. Outline of biblical uses. First first um definition says prone to slander, slanderous, accusing falsely. Um the second one, a call calumniator, calumniator, false accuser, slanderer. The second definition, which is the this is the proper one that we're looking for. It's a metaphor applies to a man. So Diablos, the devil, applies to a man who, by opposing the call of the most cause of the most high, may, may, be, may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. So it's a man, right? That man is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, the devil, right? Read that again. It says, uh, it says metaphor applies to a man who, by opposing the cause of the Most High Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, may be said to act the part of the devil, or to side with him. So Esau Edom is siding with the spiritual demon Satan by opposing the Most High, going against which is anti, which is also called the Antichrist. You know, you're against. The Most High and His Anointed, right? So that's the devil, the so-called white man. It's a man who opposes the Most High, and he got wiles, right? Which is what trickery, Ephesians six, and which he's um putting in the form of um he's lying to people, saying these are really contrails, which is Contrails are normal exhaust coming from engines, but it's all but it's actually chemical trails, right? Um Ephesians six and ten again it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the most high, that ye may that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil, the trickery of the devil, the so called white man. Verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the, of the darkness of this world. What he said, the, that's what he was saying, basically, right? The video we just we just seen, he said, the, uh, I can't remember how he quoted it, but I go back. For we wrestle not against, verse 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So like you, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So the devil, we're wrestling against the devil in the spiritual wickedness, the darkness, you know, the, um, the rulers of darkness, right? So he says, basically, he says that. And they're responsible for the cloud's creation and weather manipulation programs. They're dark operations. That's why. They're dark operations. Right? The dark operations. For we wrestle not, Ephesians 6 and 12, right? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. No, that's Satan. Right. Ephesians 6 and 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world just like he said right? Trade by the military industrial complex and they're responsible for the clouds creation and weather manipulation programs they're dark operations. That's why they're not out in the media. They're dark operations. The rulers, the the print, the, the, the darkness, the rulers, the, 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 the 
against the powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, their dark operation, which is also what the secret counsels of the wicked, right? I'm going to get that in, uh, in Psalms. These are the secret counsels of the wicked. Put keywords in. It's in Psalms. I can't remember what. Psalm 64 and 2. The dark, the dark operations, the dark, um, the rulers of darkness in this world, the dark operations, right? Psalm 64 and 1, it says, Hear my voice, O Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh in my prayer, preserve my life from the fear of the enemy, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. You know, so that's the secret council. You know, this, these are secret councils that the so-called white man Esau Edom, which is his head, it, which is um coming down from the elites, you know, of Edom that really run, runs the world. These um, actions are being brought down by his elite the elite of the so-called white man, Esau Edom, you know, and I also want to play it, this other video, and we got to the understanding of who the devil is, and, and, um, and what his plan is, his wiles, his trickery, so he, he, he's tricking people into thinking that this is some type of benefit, weather modification to benefit um, a fight against climate control, climate change, and um, whatever uh, wild trickery that he got got out there to basically justify justify these um these acts, you know, of of, of iniquity, you know, because this is basically um, damaging to the planet Earth and the inhabitants, you know. Um, I think it's in the Book of Revelations that it says um. The Most High will destroy him that destroyeth the earth, you know. So, the devil, which is the so-called white man Esau Edom, with his wiles or his trickery, through these chemtrails are destroying the earth and and the inhabitants thereof. So, I got another video I'm gonna play on. Bear with me, it's a lot. So yeah, this video here is a basically. It's a um council or um, what is it, a committee um um legislation. This is the state of California. Their legislation, the politicians of the state of California, um talking on the issues of what, like the um, title says, um chemtrails. Here is the proof, one hundred percent real. Must watch. So this is this is being talked about in in their government, basically. Their government officials are talking about chemtrails. So without any further ado, I'm gonna play this video. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm Richard Jordan, chairman of the conference. I'm going to just introduce uh, Khaled uh, Dawood, who will uh, introduce the speakers. So Khaled, thank you very much for moderating the session, and I turn it over to you, and I will return in about three minutes. So our next speaker is uh, Dr. Rosalyn Peterson. Uh, she's the California president and co-founder of the Agriculture Central Research Fund in 2006 to protect agriculture crop production from uncontrolled experimental weather modification programs. Very interesting stuff, as you know, for a non-specialized person like myself. But also very interesting in the CV that you have with you is also her extensive efforts to protect drinking water supplies from toxic chemical contamination in Martinez, California. It's a very interesting topic, of course, and I was actually wondering myself whether you can tackle whether the same experiments that you're holding in California could be extended to other world countries, particularly in poor and developed countries like Thank you. Good afternoon. One of the things that I would like to say is that we are in a global jungle of right of warming, talking about climate change and global warming. One of the things that 
is affected by climate change is agriculture. But some of what we are seeing is man-made, but man-made in a different way than you may guess. Uh, weather modification programs, experimental ones done by private companies, done by the United States government, uh, done by states across the United States are underway. There's more than 50 of them in operation across the United States. All of these impact agriculture because they change the microclimates needed for agriculture to survive. None of these programs that I know of today, and this is all public record, are available at any time uh, with oversight, agricultural oversight or public oversight. These programs impact agriculture, and there are programs around the world, international corporations, are modifying our weather all the time, and they're modifying it in ways that cover thousands and thousands of square miles. Most of it is chemically altered, so that what happens is that we are putting chemicals, ground-based chemicals that are shot into the air, or chemicals coming from airplanes that change or modify our weather. So one of the things that I'm concerned about and that we need to address in the future is how these programs are impacting microclimates needed for our crops to survive and needed for pollination. Um, if we change the growing season, the pollinators may not survive and also our crops, our flowers and our tree crops may not get the pollination needed. So one of my areas is looking at this situation to see if we can begin to put under control experimental and other types of weather modification programs. The other issue is that a lot of times we're talking about mitigation for climate change. It's rather an undefined term at this period of time. And so what happens is that many times we're talking about artificially putting chemicals like sulfur or particulates into the atmosphere in what they call geoengineering schemes to reduce um, and, and help the planet, supposedly, but help the planet to not go through such a tremendous global climate change and to mitigate global warming. However, the incidence of putting chemicals into our atmosphere is going to change and impact agricultural crop production. And if you take and you put up into our skies chemicals to reduce the amount of sunlight reaching the earth, you are going to begin to reduce crop production. Studies at the University of Illinois on corn crop production show reduction. Without the process of photosynthesis, whereby plants from direct sunlight gain the energy to grow, to produce crops, we are going to find ourselves, if we mitigate in that direction, impacting the crop production, not only here in the United States, but worldwide. One of the things that is impacting crop production right now in the United States and reducing photosynthesis, and also impacting the ability of um, solar power panels to generate the type of, uh, of power that they should, is persistent jet contrails. NASA talks about persistent jet contrails as exacerbating global warming because they trap warmth in the atmosphere when they produce cirrus and man-made clouds. NASA also talks about that when we, that these aircraft leaving persistent contrails are changing our climate. And when they change our climate to the degree that one jet can leave a persistent jet contrail which will spread across our skies from what this picture up here on my left on the screen looks like, which is a trail left by a jet, that trail can expand to 4,000 kilometers and last for 20 hours. This was unheard of in the early 60s and the 70s, and it wasn't until the late 1980s that there was a change and we started to have persistent jet contrails that persist. NASA studies show that part of our global warming problem could be attributed to these types of contrails and the jets that leave them. So one of the issues as we go through is how do you like your skies, natural or man-made? And right now, we are making man-made clouds 
and this is trapping warmth in our atmosphere. The climate change that is produced by these jets, not all jets, mostly some non-commercial, but what happens to our skies is that we start to see the changes. The man-made clouds do trap the warmth and they increase the humidity. This allows for pests to proliferate, diseases, molds, mildews, funguses, and viruses. This is a man-made cloud, ladies and gentlemen, and these pictures I took myself over Northern California, and this is a burst. Uh, this is where a jet left a huge plume, and then this turned in at the end of it to a burst, and this is not uh, normal. Never seen before in our county historically, and I was born and raised there. This is another picture showing the jet trails just before the burst. This is our skies, and I want you to know that what you're seeing now, a lot of times many scientists know, especially at NASA and in other areas, that the skies that we're seeing are not normal cloud formations. These are man-made. And what happens as we reduce the amount of sunlight in a form of global dimming, we reduce the solar power with these type of clouds, and we reduce photosynthesis, which is going to impact agriculture. The pictures look odd. The formations don't look like normal clouds that people have seen before historically. Uh, this is another type of man-made cloud. And what we have done and what you're seeing here is we have the photographs from the time that the jet leaves its first trail as a thin, spindly trail to where they form into these different types of cloud formations. All of you can start looking up and seeing this. What happens is that there are experiments and there's a color, you can see some color in this photograph. And part of what we're doing also is we're sending up canisters. The United States government, NASA, the US Air Force, is sending up canisters into the atmosphere filled with chemicals to modify and experiment with our, 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 our ionosphere. And when we modify and experiment with our ionosphere up here, we create experiments which they can see from, through these persistent jet time trails as they stay in the sky for long periods of time. And they can watch the experiments. The type of chemicals they are using are aluminum, barium, strontium. And these canisters are sent up on rockets. And what they do is they superheat the canisters to create experiments in our atmosphere. The experiments can give you colorful auroras, which they talk about as being wonderful. Many times people think that the auroras in, in Alaska and, and the ones we see are normal, but there's beginning to be more and more seen across the United States and elsewhere where um, aluminum, trimethyl aluminum experiments to make clouds are beginning to impact us. The reason so you know, so like you for this, cause it's very interesting. She had she had a whole lot to say there, you know. And it's still, I can play the full video, but I'm not for time for the um uh, for time sake, right? Cause I don't want a boring one, which it shouldn't be boring, right? But she had a lot to say there, and what she was saying is what's going on, right? They put and she said um uh, um long con trails, which basically they're kin chem trails. You know, they're not condensation. You know, like the guy said um, in the second video about uh, giving an example of um, if you're in a cold environment and you're inhaling and exhaling and you see your breath and, and, you know, but if you turn back, you're supposed to see your breath for miles and you're taking a hike or something. You're supposed to see your breath for like, you know, from whatever, how many yards or, or miles or a mile or so that you um that you're been walking or running, you should be able to see your breath from behind you. He said that's nonsense. He says the same basically concept. So these are chemicals, which is um aluminum, barium, and other chemicals that the devil, so called white man, is putting in the atmosphere, which is his trickeries, and he is can trying to justify it through um climate change, you know. So that all ties into what's even going on today, which uh, they said there's too much CO2 in the world, I mean, in the um, air. 
So all this contributing to the wiles of the devil. You know, Ephesians, the sixth chapter, that the so-called white man, which is the devil, Esau, Edom, his wiles, you know, this is one of his wiles. And this all ties into even to what they're talking about today, that they say in climate changes. They said there's another um, saying or phrase out there is climate bo boiling. And one of these um, sayings that's out here now is, is climate boiling. I can't remember who in particular said it, but, you know, so even that is talked about today, you know, that the issue of climate change and um, even with that guy on um, Kill Gates, Bill Gates, he's saying there's overpopulation in the world. So it's which contribute to climate change. And, um, you know, they got a deep pop pop uh, deep pop um, agenda also, you know, so. This is um proof, like it says, that the devil, the so-called white man, with the chemtrails, his wiles, is real. You know, it's not a uh, conspiracy theory. You know, this is an actual thing. And you know, they got they got um uh, um legislation legislative meeting of of the um of their government in California talking about chemtrails. So this is not a conspiracy theory. This is also and also you've seen testimony of pilots, you know, scientists and doctors speaking on this, right? So, um, I think I got another, um, uh, another scripture that, um, uh, I don't want to uh, bring out Salaki a bit with me. But I had a scripture, but basically that's that's what it is, you know. Which I'm gonna probably entitle this video on um, the the wiles of the devil, um, chemtrails, right? The wiles of the devil, chemtrails, you know. So um, he's basically, oh yeah, Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. So like that is the water Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. That's the um, scripture because, um. The devil is being revealed in this time, right? Second Thessalonians, and, and this is the time that the devil, the so-called white man, the wicked, is being revealed. Um, Second Thessalonians 2, verse 3, it says, Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except they come and fall in the way first, and and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Perdition means destruction. So that um this is the time that we are on um, that we're in, you know, that that man of sin, the wicked, the devil, Esau Edom, the son of perdition, is being um revealed. And that word perdition means destruction. So that's all he's doing, right? Verse 10, I mean, verse 6. I'm going to just read it so I can read the whole thing. So I can read it back over. Second Thessalonians 2 and 3 says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. That man is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, the devil. The son of perdition, right? He's being revealed. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he as he as the Most High sit in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High, right? Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you of these things, and now ye know what withholdeth. So now you know what's going to happen, right? With Hoveth, that he might be revealed in his time. So this is the time that we're in. Now you know what's going to happen, right? That he might be revealed in his time. And this is the time that the son of perdition, 
the man of sin, the devil, which is the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, is being revealed. Like it says, a devil is a man that opposes a man, you know, that opposes um, the most high, you know, and um, play the part of the devil or side with him. So it's a man, and that man is being revealed, and it's the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. So I'm going to go ahead and end it off there, and I hope it was edifying to the to the elect. And I want to say, call Halayamah Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim Rakakadash. Shalom to the next time, Yahweh Rathazah, which means Lord willing, and Wah Abba Abba, VTA soon.